just waiting on Corbin now. I forgot I'm still live. Oops. Oh, there he is. All right. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. I was just on with Gemma there for a little bit, kind of testing the yes. waters. Cause we're, we're in a cafe and it's a bit loud, but I mean, I you, have to ma- you have to make do in this city, don't you? 100%, 100%. Not, not everything is smooth sailing, so it's all about ad- adaptation, right? So exactly, adapt. exactly. Especially when you're in the work like this, you know? I'm telling you, I'm telling you. You know what? I was listening to, um, I, I got on there for the last two, three minutes there as well. And what um, what did Gemma say? What did she finish on? What did she say about the... The soul cycle class. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. True. So true, yeah. so true. It's, it's like um, the, measure of, the measure of you walking out of this class is how much you put into it. 100%, 100%. And I'll tell you, um, just to start off um, today, I had my mother with me last night. So I got my mother in my bed and then I slept in um, I slept in the spare room. So it was a blow-up mattress. And I got a terrible sleep. I woke up at 4 a.m. and the mattress had, oh, deflated, yeah. had deflated. So I felt like I was like, oh, pick it up. So I got a terrible sleep last night. And do you know what? Today, even though it was great, I went out for a coffee with my mother. And uh, stuff like that is, is, is very precious, right? Time of family is very precious. But I struggled to stay in the moment. I had all these things running through my head. I knew I had the live today. I did a podcast earlier on. I have work to do. And my head was torn and torn and torn and torn. And I, just did a med- I just did a meditation for 10 minutes there. And I, I found um, it's always helpful. Always helpful kind of just to relax you. But I found, oh my God. I felt, I used to get bad anxiety in my, in my back. We get so tight, and I feel it coming on today. First yeah. time now, first time in a couple of weeks. But you know what? It's just it's you got to kind of think of okay, what's good about today? It's unreal day out. Yeah. You know what? I'm not too far from Central Park. I'm gonna go. For, I'm gonna do this. We're gonna chat about the master class, a little bit about my story, and then I'm gonna go for a run. So even yeah, though today like- I, I don't feel well, but it's a good day today. You know what I mean? Yeah. a bit unconsciously and on autopilot especially here it's so easy yeah. whereas like you know the work that we want to do is so that people can get into that level of awareness so they're like right this is not me this is something yeah. that's affecting me and i know what to do now in order for me to move forward in a yeah. more like aligned way you know yeah it's so- having the tools it's having the tools to it's having the awareness and then having the tools so the awareness is okay it's- to feel your emotions and and kind of think about what's going on, and then having the tools to fix that, and then move and then not move on, but just progress and kind of learn from that as well. Because that's one thing I struggled in back a few years ago, where I wasn't feeling well inside, mentally, and I'd go to the gym. And yeah, don't get me wrong, like I'm a personal trainer, online coach. The so gym is great, but it's almost a temporary fix, right? Yeah. You, you, you can't be in a gym every every hour every day. At one yeah. hour four or five days a week is great. Like the soul cycle class is amazing. But just say, for instance, before you weren't feeling well mentally in the soul cycle class. Yeah, you're going to feel good. You're going to feel better after, but it's more, you got to dive, you got to delve deep a little bit further. And I know yeah. you mentioned, um, you know, meditation, journaling. And I think, you know, with, with this master class, it's almost going to put you onto a new track and a new journey in life and kind of teach you the tools to take on. So for instance, if you haven't about if you're not feeling well, you know what to do rather than yeah. second guessing, you know? Yeah, exactly. Knowing what to do and then you, then you have a choice. So yeah, do exactly. I, you know, go and drink the head off myself, which I've done for how many years? I still sometimes <laughs> do it. Do I go and write, okay, you need a good night's sleep here. You need to just journal this shit out. And then, yeah. you know, this, this moment will pass as well. Yeah. And that's kind of what, like, that's the kind of level of this work that we want to bring to the, to the people of New York who are struggling and who mm. also might not be struggling, just know that there's something missing in life, you know, that they're, they're constantly on the, the hamster wheel of life here, working, yeah. sleeping, working out, repeating, all that kind of yeah. stuff. Like you can access another level of yourself that is more deeper and fulfilling, exactly like you said. 100%. There's two things there I want to talk about. First one, right, is, and I've been guilty of it as well, and it's, it's all, it's, it's back home, but it's, I find it's in New York here and working in the hospitality industry, like yourself, and I was working there for years, you'd always get people coming in and, and they drink their emotions away. You think that if you have something difficult that, that you've got to face in life, 
they go to the bar, John Dressars with the drink, and in fact, it makes it 10 times worse. I remember I, I couldn't sit with how I was feeling. I couldn't, cha- I couldn't face my, the obstacles that I was facing in life, and I'd always either use or drink um, to, so to make sure. Got a coffee. coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> but I would, I would use, I'd go partying um, to just distract me, to take me out of that, to get outside of myself. And it always just led to something worse. Something might have happened on the night out. Um, and then the second one, I forget what the second one was. <laughs> the second point. <laughs> it was I was so in depth with the first one. I'm like, oh, what's the second one? And, and, then, the, and then the coffee came and it all messed coffee up. Coffee came. But anyways, so no, what we're must. talking about is the masterclass here. And, mm-hmm. you know, we have you and Seamus on board. I did a live with Seamus last week. Yeah. And we also have Gabrielle. She's coming from Ireland. And... We want to create a space for men to get together to do this work together so that it's not... Get together, you know, talk about what, what's going on in life and mm. just, you know, and like that's kind of why we, you know, reached out to you because your journey is, is amazing and so inspiring and Seamus as well with how he came from, you know, something not working in New York to take in the risk to then it working in New York for him yeah. and now he's built a whole community he's built a tribe in clan health you know yeah. so like how, how can you speak to that in terms of like your journey and you know why you want to be involved in this um yeah no, of course it's um because just to touch on what you were saying there because I, I think when people think is when people think of men's health they think oh they're sick or it's mental health but this isn't it's not just that right it's 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 different obstacles in life and living in this city, right? It could be relationships, it could be jobs. You just might not be happy with where you're at. And I touched on it there. I did those polls in my story and they were, they were quite interesting and people's answers were, were interesting and they were mixed. But a lot of it, like and I touched on it, it, it doesn't, you don't have to be just be struggling in New York. You might want to f- yeah. find a new venture. You might just want to, you know, come if, uh, just out of curiosity. And this is what the live is about as well, just to kind of explain to people but let me touch on my story for people watching that don't actually know. Uh, so I came here in 2017. Like most people, I, I went straight into the bars. I was working in some construction as well. And um, absolutely loved it. Um, but I wasn't sure what I was coming out here to do. Wasn't, I had no structure in place. I had no plans. I was going with the flow. And as you know, with this city, right, going with the flow, I don't think it's healthy. I don't think it's, you need to have some sort of plan, some sort of structure. Um, not just in your work, but in yourself, in your daily routine. Um, and I had none of that. So I was on, you know, I fell down a slippery slope. Um, I went to a therapist a couple of years ago and she said, the analogy she used was, I was on a very, very fast train, right? She said, picture you're on the subway. And there's, how many stops is there in New York? I don't know, there's hundreds. Yeah, she, hundreds. Said, you, she said, you weren't, you weren't able to get off at any of the stops. She said, you were just on this very fast train. And I loved it because it was like, I felt like it was so true. I felt like, oh, I'm on this train. I, I, I said to her, I said, I felt like I was the driver. I was the driver. <laughs> and, I was, and I was in sixth gear. And I was loving it. I was like, oh, but it's not going to last. You can't always drive in sixth gear. You got to pull back the first, second, third. And yeah. it was, um, so literally I fell down a hole of addiction. I was drinking a lot. Um, and it's not like everyone, a lot of people say, oh, it was the environment. Yeah, look, environment played, played a factor. But I came out of that environment and I still had issues. I still had issues. I was still wanting to use. I was still wanting to drink excessively. Um, and it was down to myself. But it was down to not having the tools, not knowing what to do. So a lot of stuff that helped me was journaling, meditation, obviously training as well. Um, therapy and I feel like this master class has a bit of everything right it has a bit of a bit of, a bit of you know um, meditation journey and you touch on breath work as well and that's something that even myself I'm looking forward to because yes I'm coming I'm telling my story but it doesn't mean I'm doesn't mean I'm perfect I, I, I need to work on myself because this is it's life it's a journey it's not quick fixes and I think what happens with a lot of people we want quick fixes with anything it goes yeah. down to Yeah, 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 yeah. you got to learn the tools how to look after yourself. So it's going to bed at the same hour every night. Getting up at a decent hour, getting your seven, eight hours of sleep, putting your big, big bottle of water in the fridge, drinking the first thing. You know what I mean? Turn your phone off. Turn your phone off. And even because you're drinking coffee, I'm not having to go, but it's two o'clock, right? I always, 
I, it's fine. It's good. Don't worry. <laughs> I, I, uh, I always recommend not drinking after 4 or 5 p.m. Yeah. It affects your sleep. It affects your sleep. And you know what? What did I do yesterday? I had a coffee at 5 p.m. <laughs> had an espresso a... after dinner. Yeah. I was listening to a podcast and coffee lasts in your system 6 to 12 hours after it's, mm-hmm. you, t- you have it. So you really shouldn't be having it until after 12. Exactly. But, and it's... Um, um, <laughs> yeah, but no, I want to touch on something before I forget there, what you said yeah. about coming to Ireland and, or coming to America and not having any structure. So yeah. it's really funny, and I'm going to speak from my own experience. I thought, yeah, do, me, do. Get, I thought me getting on a plane to America, all my all, all the answers, it was, I had all the answers. Yeah. Touchdown in New York. That's it. I don't need to do anything more. I can sit back and, you know, life's just going to happen for me. Fast forward eight years later until I sat in a therapy chair with Gabrielle. Um, in in Colorado last March and yeah. I was so unfulfilled I was you know prior to COVID I was like you know looking for a good bartending gig but again at that I was drinking after work going to bed like getting up my shift might start at 11 I was getting up at half 10 to be there like there was yeah. no sense of I didn't know who I was I had no sense of self um I wasn't spending any time with myself and my thoughts I had no direction mm. and it was kind of like you know, do you go into the corporate world? Do you stay in bartending? Do you own a? Do you want to own a bar? Like all this kind of stuff that, you know, the the the, the kind of like what you know what Irish people do over here, and it's like, yeah, why, why don't why don't I want any of that? Why do I? What's stopping me? What's holding me back? And it was myself. It was me not yeah. knowing who I was. Yeah. Um, so yeah, fast forward a year on, here I am now, and I'm like, you know, we're on this this live, and we're like, we want because if I'm the only one feeling, if I'm not the only one feeling this, and you went through it as well. So I'm sure there's other people who need maybe that bit of support or that real yeah, talk. Yeah, of course. I think you so. Know? I and, think and so. That's, yeah, and that's kind of where we're at. With no, this. I think you do, where you touch on, like, and I was the same. Before I moved here, I said, oh, I'm going to move to New York. Everything's going to happen. It's going to happen. <laughs> it's, not, it's not the environment. It's you. It's you yourself. And even me coming back here, I came back here in January. And, um, you know, I felt when I left here, and for people that don't know, I, I, I left here, I went into rehab, I got sober, I relapsed, I got sober again. And then um, uh, just recently in October, my dad had passed and he was asking me before he passed, he said, what do you, where are you going? What are you doing? I said, you know, I'm going to set up my online business. Um, I'm going to get clients wherever I am, but I wasn't sure. And he said, what about? Awareness. I have the tools. Not all of them, but I have some of them. I have a big, I have a big bag here. I have some tools in there, but I need more. I need more. It's a heavy but, bag. It's, it's what? But you what? You need a heavy bag. You, you don't have to carry it the whole time, but you need it there. That's just true. You can put it down. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. it's um. Do you know what? And you know what? I'm doing great here so far. And what I found is I I can't really slack on my personal development. And my personal development is. My breath, my breath, meditation, my eight hours of sleep, my water. Um, I found, I found since I've been back, small little bad habits have come, come back into my, into my routine. I found several different thoughts that I don't want in my head have come back in, which is fine. Which is fine. I, we're, we're all human. It's not like smooth sailing, but I, yeah. I touched on this there a few minutes ago. It's, life is a journey, so you, you have to take the good days, you have to take the bad days. But on the bad days, you have to realize... You can get through this, um, but just touching off, like with this masterclass, like I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to to coming to to to, to hearing you guys talk, Gabrielle, Seamus. Um, so it's going to be a good thing. But as I said before, you don't have to feel like you're struggling because yeah, a lot exactly. of people answer that poll I did the other day. A lot of the questions were 50-50, and I touched on it there. I was like, Jamal, like if you want, if you just want to level up, because there's so much potential, no matter what industry you're in in this in this city. Um, no matter what, no matter what country you're from, it doesn't matter. I think like because I, when Irish people come in here, there's so many Irish communities. This is open to everyone. It's open to yeah, everyone. It's, yeah. You know what I mean, so yeah, it's um, it's gonna be good and it's exciting. And and as you said, you've been working with with Gabrielle for a while now, and what she's done with you girls and many many other men and and, and women in Ireland has been has been fantastic. From what I've heard and what I've seen on social media, um, yeah, feedback has been great. So. Yeah, and that's, we'll just t- talk about her a little bit as well yeah. now. Like, Gabrielle has kind of, like, you know, created this new, it's called the human breakthrough method is how she works. 
So it's yeah. not your typical therapy. It's it's a fast track process for you. Like you don't have to, you know, it's like she, she like involves all the senses, the nervous system with breath work and um, the journaling, like the, the talk and all that kind of stuff, meditation. Mm. Like it's just, it's just a different way of leveling up and unlocking the unlocking your potential getting rid of all limiting beliefs like you know find, find out what's not like here like life is you know so many areas some things can be working for you some things aren't and then it's mm. figuring out how you can balance that out like again i'm doing the work every single day sometimes i want to just like shut off and take my brain out for a little bit but yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you know and we're doing this work because we want a space like this so that we can always have access while we live here and you know, yeah, and not kind of like lose the run of yourself. Like, it's, yeah. none of us are perfect here. We're all showing up to, you know. Of course. I don't. I don't know who care is going to be on May first after I do all the, the, this stuff and yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you know, see myself in these different um, situations and like learn more about myself and what kind of, you know, what triggers me, what's good for me, and then like, mm. you know, just constantly, just constant awareness, like you said, and not being yeah. too hard on yourself in the process. You that's know? that's that's very important as well. And I found myself and the people I've talked to as well is always. The, I still do as well. I still do. It's like I might see someone else doing something differently in the fitness industry, and it could come down to uh, a bar job as well. Oh, he or she's making more money than me on a Friday night. Why is that? Should I move to another job or whatever? So <laughs> yeah. All this stuff plays in our mind, and as I said, look, we're all human, so it's just a matter of, um, you know, learning the skills to control your thoughts, and again, just not not being too hard on yourself, like you're yeah. Saying. New York is such a great city, so there's so much potential to improve on yourself, but um, just to become a better person. I think ultimately, yeah. right, we all just want to be a better person, emotionally, yeah. physically, mentally, spiritually, whatever the case is for you. Yeah. And I think with this class, right, um, and it, it, this is what I do, this is what I do with people who are signed up with me, right? Some people are like, oh, I, I drink too much, I want to get fit. I'm like, all right, how much do you spend on the weekends? Drinking, whatever the case is. So it could be between 100, 300, especially in New York. I, I used to look at my bank account the next day and five, six, seven, and the people are like, no way, I swear to God. Now, that could be drinking, it could be drugs, but I, you know, if you're drinking in New York, it is not cheap. Yeah. So if, and what you're going to get out of this masterclass is two hours, right? Two hours, and we're going to learn tools. It's going to be breath work, everything. And the pricing is fair. The pricing, I, I would spend that two hours in the bar. Where, yeah. Why you got to think? People have to think of this. You got to invest in yourself. Yeah. It's always the case. You have, you have to invest in yourself. So with this masterclass, it's and and you touched on it there before. You don't have to be stand up talking and telling your whole story. You could just no. sit back, take it all in. Do you know what I mean? Because it's a process yeah. as well. It's like um, when I first started going to AA and NA meetings, I was like, everyone's telling their story. Should I talk? And yeah, no, no. just relax. Just relax. And I was yeah. like, no, 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 I'll say something. And I was like, just, I was like, you know what? I should just take it in because all these people are they're far more experienced than me. And it's like with us as well, Gabrielle, she's been in this, in, like, she's been doing this for a long, long time. So she knows what she's talking about. So um, no, look, I'm very, uh, I'm getting, I'm getting excited here. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm so. Your, your actually energy is like feeding off me now. I'm like, yes, let's great, freaking great, do great. this. Um, I think that's. I think we're good yeah. with that. Anything else to add? Like, no, I, I guess if look, if um, you're going to share this on a shared space, I'll share it on my yeah. story. So hope, hopefully, um, people will um share it and we we'll get more Spread interaction. But if yeah, if any details, I suppose, as far as like um, the dates is April 26, right, in the Irish Centre in Long Island City. Yes, yeah, New York yeah. Irish Centre, Long Island City. From six to we don't know what it might be six to eight, six to nine, yeah. six to ten. We don't yeah. really know. We're going to see feel with the crowd and see what happens. Yeah, play, play um, but we'll just leave the we're going to have music refreshments like it's, it's an event it's going to be fun it's not yeah. it's not you're going to sit there and you're going to be like it's a no. bit of crack you know just parts of your life and yeah 100 you know this is where it starts so we know yeah. we hope to see you there yeah i just say like just take the plunge don't don't even you don't need to think about it because it's it's your life it's your body it's your mind and i always said like um i had a, i had a i went to a therapist and 
she was always thinking, always going back. She's like, it's it's your your body, your your life, your you're the driver. Your just picture. The analogy is picture us as a car, right? You got to put petrol into the car. The car won't run without petrol, so you got to feed your body with the right things, the right nutrients, enough water, but your mindset as well. That controls your thoughts. That controls your life. You yeah, I mean? so exactly. I think and that's, that's very yeah, important. Those three things as well: stress, stress management, toolkit transforming yeah. your mindset and leadership in your lifestyle choices and those three, three, three things is what we're going to touch on and, and everything that encompasses those you know so yeah, yeah i love that so right that. and that's great that is great okay. all right perfect all right well listen we'll um we'll see you yeah. april 26th april 26th we'll see you there all right, all right listen stay <laughs> safe we'll chat yeah. you soon right thanks so much Cormac. see you bye soon bye, bye.